my people as the matter between very dark man and bob risky continues a lot of people have started bringing out evidences that bob risky chatted with them when she claimed that uh, she was in the prison anyway i'm not going to say much about this video please as you watch help me subscribe to my youtube channel god bless you let me leave the video for us to watch i defended him a couple of times and you guys know that he's an ungrateful person and i'm here with proof he never ever went to prison check out the voice notes but risky sent me when he was in an apartment chilling like a villain hi good morning how are you see I, i'm really grateful i'm really really grateful god bless you i see everything you do i see all your posts people have been telling me or this guy has been saying the things about you has been posting you thank you so much i'm fine like i'm very very fine so don't be worried don't um don't be stressed i'm really fine don't worry i'll tell you some things probably when i'm when uh, i'm in position to explain to you better i would explain uh everything to you you know but i'm very fine like i'm very very fine so i'm okay <laughs> I know people are before scared, they're worried. Oh, but this kids in the prison, but this kids this. I'm very okay. I'm fine. Um, thank you so much. Thank you one more time for everything you've been doing. God bless you. Uh, it's so sad that um, I was asked not to post anything. If not, I would have reposted all your videos and I'll post everything. I appreciate you. But immediately when it is time for me to do that, that will be the first thing I'm going to do. Thank you and have a wonderful day. You're a star and nothing will stop your shine, trust me. All these people saying rubbish on the internet, they're not rich now. They're not rich. They're just online blabbing. Blabbing. Internet warriors. Keep at warriors. Keep living, keep doing your thing. God got you. I'm happy you are fine. That's the voice of Bob Risky. And myself conversing in a voice note but Briska said to me that I shouldn't worry that a lot of people are thinking he's in prison but he's not but Brisky never ever went to prison him coming out to say that very dark man lied and saying that the voice in that voice note very dark man played wasn't his it's a big joke. That was Bob Risky speaking to someone. You can also compare that voice note played by Very Dark Man and this voice note I played and you will tell that it was Bob Risky. Bob Risky was never ever in prison. And trust me, Bob Risky took that 4 million naira from that guy and didn't want to refund him because Bob Risky does not keep to his words. Bob Risky was meant to compensate me for defending him online, but he never did. That's to show you that Bobrisky never ever keeps to his words. Bobrisky is a manipulator. Bobrisky is not a sincere person. And if you ever want to do business with Bobrisky, be careful because he is not reliable. I've got another evidence of Bobrisky being in an apartment and I'm going to play it now with the chats he sent to me that period as well. Check it out, guys. That's Bob Risky chilling in an apartment when we thought he was in prison. That was why he came out with so many pictures because basically he was just there chilling and going to the studio to take pictures to pepper us when he comes out. But he was never in prison. That was why Bob Risky had a lot of pictures to post when he came out. But Risky had 15 million naira to spend on cake. He spent a lot of money on doing his party when he came out, but he never kept to his words. He never compensated me. That shows he is not a reliable person. But Brisky was chilling in an apartment. He never ever went to prison. I applaud very dark black man for uncovering this and I am backing him up on this. I'm saying it categorically that Bob Risky never went to prison. George sent Bob Risky go prison. Someone brought an evidence, a recording of Bob Risky himself, implicating himself, that he didn't have to do a sentence, which was six months. That 
Instead, he paid 15 million for an organization we are supposed to trust. But they as a bride and he was in an apartment the whole time. Now, I expected noise. I expected an uproar from people. Wait, even if you don't like the journalist that brought the gist out. Uh -uh, this is an evidence now. That person went to jail now. These people will go to jail if they did the same thing. Why didn't he go to jail? Guess what my emotional Nigerians did? Nah! I hate this guy! This guy needs to shut up! Do you now understand why Nigeria would not work? Do you understand why petrol is so expensive and a lot of you cannot afford indomie? You want to play partiality? Is this a game of emotions? And we just the start. Make everything just dear today. Let's keep lying to ourselves. Very dark man. No, le mama bafa. She bought no first auto. A Jew man so. Oh, my make another see problem. She bought no say for this social media. Now maybe the only prophet to the exist. Now maybe the only person we see are the sifa. Are the sifa. When I remember say when Bobiriski come out from prison, when they release Bobiriski, I tell them I say I know sure say they carry this boy go prison. He be like say they carry this boy go put inside a cool hotel. They go rent hotel for a rent two better two bedroom flat. You understand? Some people they say. I don't know what's in at the top. Shebo now they see say now Bobiriski no go prison. He no go prison. I seen they go prison. Then just carry and come out from prison. Carry and go put for Airbnb better hotel with AC. Find people be say then they massage him body. Then they press him back. Spa there inside the place. Supermarket there inside the place. This boy there inside one house. They enjoy himself. Tell on a single prison. You understand? My sister Shebo now remember say tell on. I tell on a say Bobiriski no day for prison. They carry and go put inside a cool hotel. Then they enjoy life. Carry people then they massage him body. They bath and wear. You understand? One of the mumu men. One of the mumu men where they find their lifestyle. A whole you go borrow your fellow man four million naira because of small kissing when he kiss you. Idris Idris Abdukar. Him, just kiss you. Mm -hmm. He carry family on Nairobi. Now he no grip. He come the reporter to video. And then I know say that this certain video they like Bobriski the enemy. Video and Bobriski. Nothing in one time. They are two a very big enemy. You understand? Know As video here say that Bobriski now so he has stand. He go bring torchlight, put in paper for table, spread them. Make sure say he begin disgrace. You understand? Now see him now they not expose them. You understand? Make sure hear and hear. Sadly, the court sentenced me. So you know, I was on my way to the prison. Then my godfather called me and said, you will not enter that prison, don't worry. Let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison. That is going to call the, um, going to call the controller in my, that's overall in Nigeria, in Abuja, and I'm talk to them. The shall talk before I come back, shall. They now took me to one apartment that I must not come out till I finish my sentence. That's so fast. That the, um, that okay, <laughs> The said she come out. The said she come and keep me here. That I mustn't, um, I mustn't go like enter data. But nobody should know that I'm not there. Yes. You know. So they said the guy will call him money. He wanted to give them seven. Wait, wait. Seriously, when I see the reason why they advise people say if you get chance, run away from Nigeria. Pack your background, you understand? If for Nigeria, if you don't get connection, your papa no get money, your mama no get money, you don't get one uncle where they very, very rich, you understand? You on poverty don't sign convenience today for that country. They say yes, one Nigeria, no be one Nigeria, and I want thunder, thunder don't fire you already, you understand? If you don't get money, pack your background, come up from that country. Now who get money they survive? See Bobby Diskina with the money with the connection in get you understand. When they go prison from prison and just one single call, one call where they make the thing talk from prison, enter hotel, you understand? Carry up every morning, then I hear they give a Three plate of pepper soup in the morning, four plate of pepper soup in the afternoon, seven plate of pepper soup in the evening, you understand? In the night, then go carry better, better guests and some men. Then go they massage them back in the press in the neck, you understand? Later, then carry and go for spa, then go do in tow, do in you understand? Later, then they shave in baby. If you want baby grow like this, then go tell police to the shave the baby so that mommy of Lagos will look clean, you understand? Then treat and we finish, call release them. In Kakuma, can they say yes? A cric cri was easy, which cric cri echo or tet on the fire, you understand? On the craze, when they say I'm the not exposed now, I dedicate this song to Nigeria because normally Nigeria, they no guest sense, you understand? If person talk on I go say, then they embarrass Nigeria. Online, nobody they embarrass Nigeria. If you don't say it for Nigeria, you know, guess and so you be Bob Risky supporter. You understand this song now for you. You understand, Uluwa Etobi Etobi Yo Etobi Etobi Pim 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 Oluwa Etobi Etobi Yo Etobi Etobi Pim 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 Patanere Noe Shata Mewere O Etobi Oluwa Wa Oluwa Hey Nigeria. You don't finish that country not feel better again for this life after watching the um vdm um recording of bob Risky's conversation and the um accusations he made with substantial evidence i strongly believe that our eyes are beginning to open now i feel like everyone can finally see the kind of agency efcc is. i'll still say it with all confidence 
that EFCC is the most corrupt agency in Nigeria. Yes, fact. EFCC is the most corrupt agency in Nigeria. When the foundation is destroyed, what shall the writers do? We're just deceiving ourselves, honestly. We're deceiving ourselves. I just randomly say they are the most corrupt agency in Nigeria without my own personal observation. So I'm going to be dropping my own two cents in addition to what VDM has said. EFCC came on their Twitter page to release a press statement. They are, they are putting a stop. I mean, they are putting an immediate stop to night sting operation. What does this mean? That simply means that if by any chance someone is coming to you or someone is entering into your house at an odd hour of the day 12 o'clock 1 o'clock 2 o'clock and then they are telling you open up we are from efcc no do not open up that's what that press statement implies do not open up efcc did not authorize them to be there no one forced you no one asked for it you randomly come on your twitter page to announce to nigerians that officially you are putting a stop to night sting operation and then you can't follow up with what you said that's that's even shows you how i don't know how i'm gonna put it that shows how disordered they are that shows how disordered they are if you're going to be an agency that is going to be fighting against corruption your major motto should be discipline and the rule of law these two things you can't put them aside as an agency you can't put these two things aside discipline and the rule of law which states that the supremacy of law equality all human beings are equal under the law that's how it should be but you see this efcc i don't think they do i don't even think they work with the rule of law at all i don't even think they their actions revolve around the rule of law their mode of working their process of working it does not even revolve around the rule of law at all they have no respect for human rights take for example you're going to bust into an apartment it's not like you have good intel you're just creating a random assumption that oh students live in that apartment or students live in that hostel so automatically they are four stars that's how you come and go that's that's how you come to your conclusion they are four stars stereotype they will bust into your apartment even a female apartment they will bust into the female apartment they'll be seeing women naked they will still be looking at you as a naked like this in front of them you will dress up i mean male will be looking at you like wow how, how does that even make sense how? What kind of agency is that? Finally, you are busting to the apartment. You are searching their phones. You don't find anything on them. And then you are leaving. Mind you, before you found your way in, you had to destroy the gate. You vandalized their property. You now had to get in. Only for you to get in. And then, you don't find anything incriminating on them. Doesn't that tell you that you are meant to pay compensation for the damages? Don't you know? That you are meant to pay compensation for the damages? Common sense will tell you. I mean, I mean, go use my aunt, fist gates. Let me break gates. You break them, enter into my house. At the end of the day, you find out that I'm not a foster. And then you are leaving. You are just telling me bye bye. Oh, we've confirmed that you are not into fraud. Bye bye. We're sorry. Bye bye. Some of them will not even tell you we're sorry. They'll just leave. It's the confidence for me. The fact that you are an agency in charge of corruption, does that mean that you shouldn't follow the protocol of the rule of law in performing your duties? What happened to human rights? Why are you putting human rights aside? Why? Why are you putting human rights aside and performing your duties? That shows how disordered they are. If they ask everyone that has gone through hell in the hands of EFCC, I mean illegal hell, not the legal one, no. illegal hell in the hands of EFCC. If they ask every one of them to gather for a parade, you go to see a carnival. You don't even get intel anymore. Let's not even talk about that alone EFCC. Those ones are the worst. The moment your house is fine and a Benz drive into it like this, the next day, just expect them. A beautiful compound, a best drives into the compound. Don't worry, you are a foster. They don't even want to know what you are doing. They, they won't even do any proper background check. Oh. No background check at all. The moment they see a fine house, you are a young boy, you are living in that house, and then you have a Benz or you have an, a, a luxurious car. Ah, don't worry. <clears throat> they are coming to visit you. That's just, the, just expect them. How does that make any sense? You guys will just, no, 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 I mean, no proper investigation. You just drop into stuff anyhow. Do you know how many students are complaining? Do you know how many students are complaining? They are tired. A lot of students can't complete school. It's not as if they are even four stars. Oh. I mean, these are tech, tech guys, TikTokers, content creators. They are complaining. They can't even live in peace in that state. Eloy, let's leave Eloy aside. Look at Portacourt, for example. They went to bust a female hostel two weeks ago in Portacourt. These guys came at 3 a.m. I mean, 3 a.m. in the middle of that. I have evidence. If you want video evidence, I will drop it. They came at 3 a.m. in the middle of the night. A female hostel, it was filled with female. They broke the door. 
broke their windows, broke their gates. They vandalized their property and they Ill illegally gained access into the compound only for them to enter into the house. You are seeing the ladies, they are, they are naked. The ladies are naked. And as a man, what are you meant to do? You are meant to excuse them immediately. No, because you are ESCC, you have the right. You have the right to be inside the house of someone that is naked. You won't allow no privacy at all. They won't even tell them, oh, you know what, dress up. Oh, when your dress will come inside, no, it does not concern the SEC. They will stand there with their red jacket like this. A man will be looking at a woman that is naked. You will dress up in front of him and then they will not start probing you. How does that make any sense? How? Let's talk about the fear. Let's talk about the trauma. If you ever experienced ESCC, I mean, if you've experienced ESCC, it is a trauma that will be in your head for life. It will never clear. It is a very horrible experience. How? Let's be honest so It is entirely wrong. These are the issues. We should talk about these stuff. We should definitely talk about this stuff. We are disbanding SAS and then ESC think, oh, we think ESC is better. No, they are worse. They are worse. Bring back SAS, please. We prefer them. ESC is far much worse. They see we Nigerians as dumb people. Like, we don't have sense. We don't follow up with things. Let me tell you the reason why I said that. If you remember, on a specific date, they busted regional hotel at Ojo. Regional hotel at Ojo. When they bust regional hotel at Ojo, after they finished the busting of regional hotel at Ojo, the second day, a video resurfaced, a CCTV video, a footage resurfaced of them manhandling a lady. They bust, like two of the officers forcefully opened the door of the hotel. You saw that it was a lady that was there. They entered and they started beating the lady. They started beating a woman. A man, I mean, an EFCC officer 